Welcome. We will look at tools and techniques, material selection, and a selection of classic and new flies. We hope these videos help you become a better tire. I'd like to tie a fly today called the Sawyer's Killer Bug, a fly that I find just really interesting for several reasons. The first thing that's interesting about this fly, it was tied by Frank Sawyer, same guy that uh, tied the first pheasant tail, although Sawyer's pheasant tail, which we'll do a video on, doesn't look like the American pheasant tail that we see a lot. Sawyer's Killer Bug is what we're gonna tie. What's interesting about this fly is that if you start reading about it online, there's a real emphasis on the materials. Everybody wants to try to get first the yarn just right. This was initially tied with Chadwick's 477 wool yarn. And I looked for some, there's a little card that it came on and finally found a guy in uh, Europe, the UK, that claimed to have some, and so he sent me probably two yards of it uh, along with the story that this came from some of the last Chadwick's 477 about 40 years ago that was sold at a store called Coates, kind of a department store, haberdashery sort of store in, in Glasgow. And you can see that uh, he sent me this on a piece of paper that I guess was a stationary with Mom Ennis, I guess is what that's, non Ennis, Ennis. Um, and it said, you know, he, he got it from non Ennis uh, four years ago. So, um, if you look at this, it's a wool and nylon mix, and it's just kind of a really small um, brownish thread with some gray, I guess, in it. So everybody's been trying to copy this stuff. And so a lot of different uh, manufacturers have made wools that are supposed to look like it. If you look at this 477 Chadwick wool from Vineyard, um, you'll notice it's a little bit, and I've just got the, the supposedly the original on the bottom and uh, the Vineyard on the top, you'll notice it's a little lighter and it's more of a brown and tan color than the Chadwick, supposedly original. The other uh, manufacturer that makes this, and I've run out or I would show it to you, is uh, Semperfly. And when we get some more in, we do try to stock it. Um, and if you go research this on the internet, you'll find that a lot of people say that this Shetland Spindrift and this is oyster, that this is really close. And so if you look at this, you can see that, man, it's, it's I guess, pretty close. What people say about the original Chadwick's that they think makes it so effective is that when it gets wet, it shows kind of a reddish color. The other thing, not just the wool, the other material is copper wire. And you'll notice that this copper wire is not bright copper like the bottom of a tea kettle or something like that. It's polished copper. Um, it's more of what I'd call a brown copper or really an oxidized copper. And so Sawyer supposedly used uh, telephone wire, which is more of this kind of a brown copper color uh, or an oxidized copper color than it is a bright copper color like you know, you might consider that a gold or a copper, but uh, a dull is still bright. And Sawyer, another interesting thing about the bug is that Sawyer used the copper wire as tying thread. So I'm going to tie some of the, I'm going to tie one of these uh, just to illustrate the kind of the original as I understand it. And I would say if you see pictures of this bug, um, they're kind of cigar shaped, and I mean machine rolled cigar shape, rounded on both ends, but roughly the same uh, width throughout the middle. So we'll start not tapered, we'll start standard, you know, a couple of wraps forward, and then go back. And then what I do is I go ahead and helicopter off about the middle of the fly. 
and I'm going to take a length of this oyster. Um, we're also going to use the Shetland spender if while we're tying these style flies. There's another fly that's very similar to this uh, called a Utah killer bug. This is a Sawyer killer bug. I like to catch it about the middle and then just wrap back. And I'll say, I have a tendency to want to try to wrap these really evenly. Uh, something like you might try to wrap a, a Copper John. Um, but if you look at, there's some kind of grainy video on YouTube of Sawyer tying some of these. He doesn't worry about the, the wire being, uh, you know, kind of rough looking. It's just adding weight. And then what we do is we just wrap up. And then back. Contrary to what you may see on some pictures of this bug, it is not a ribbed fly. And you can see, I didn't do any tapering there much at all. Um, I'm just pretty much tying it even as it goes. And then when you get to the back, just take a couple of reps. Uh, and I'm, I don't try to whip finish this. I just do half hitches. Nice thing about doing this with copper wire is you don't have to worry too much about it going anywhere. And I'll just do three hitches there. Um, and if you're not familiar with the half hitch, the easy way to do it and the way I'm doing this is just take hold of the wire and twist it. You can also do this with thread. There's a half hitch tool out there. And then I just loop it around and get it where I want it and pull it tight. And if you see pictures of this, the little copper tag tag showing at the back, you want that. And then we'll clip this off. Now, people say that the reason the original Chadwick's works so well is that it has a reddish color when it gets wet and that it instead of getting darker like some of these materials some of the yarns do that it actually gets to a more natural color i've tied three of these one in each one of these materials one in the original chadwick's uh, 477 that i got from the uk one in the oyster colored spender thread and one in the vineyard and we'll soak them in water for a little while and then lay them out and take a photo. This is the photo we took of these three flies. The, um, the two that were tied with the clone materials, the vineyard and the spender for on the top and bottom. The original is in the middle. The way I can tell the difference between them is I took some bluish gray uh, nail polish and put it on the head so you can see that. Uh, in the eye of the hook and you can take a look at it these are soaked and uh, tell me what you think in the comments if you uh, if you think there's actually that kind of light reddish color in the uh, the Chadwick's 477 thank you for watching subscribe for all our videos and tight lines